guys. So it's been a rough few days. And anybody that suffers from Bartholon abscesses, cysts, they are so not fun. They are so not fun. They are so painful. I would I would take all my births over this pain. So when a doctor tells you that you cannot get a Bartholon abscess after marsupialization, they're wrong because I am I am suffering from one right now and I had marsupialization on September 10th. So what's going on? I don't understand. I don't get it. If anybody, I have not come across anybody that has had one of these before. If you have had one, please, you don't have to comment below. You can send me a message if you want or if you feel comfortable enough to comment down below. Did you have marsupialization? Did you get another one after? What is going on? I don't understand what is going on. Okay, so there is a positive for this a little bit. So, two days ago, I'm also going through menopause, so I shouldn't be bleeding at all. So two days ago, when I was wiping, after going to the bathroom, I noticed there was a little bit of spotting. And I thought, well, it's, it's probably nothing. So the next day, yesterday, all day I kind of felt like something was going on down there. And then about 5 o'clock, yep, for sure knew I had one of those. And it got so bad. If you, if you know me, you know I do not take pain pills. If you see me taking a pain pill, chances are I'm really, 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 really in pain. I was in a lot of pain last night, so I took a pain pill. And I'm telling you, this thing woke me up from a dead sleep at midnight, throbbing. And I kind of had like this urge to push. Now, not an urge to push like when you have a baby. Just, I don't know, I felt like a, a weird pressure that I had never felt before when I had one of these. So I touched it and I kind of pushed on it and I heard a and it just emptied into the toilet and then I stood up because I thought it was done and then it started running down my leg. Now what was in the toilet and running down my leg was brown so I'm assuming that's infection so um, I, I hopefully am going to be on antibiotics. She was supposed to call me in something today. I, I don't know if she forgot or I don't know. I'll have to call first thing in the morning and make sure I get some kind of antibi antibiotic because I have to have an infection of some sort down there. I don't, I don't know. It can't be. I don't, I don't know. It's a blockage. That's what, that's what it is. It's a blockage of the gland and then your gland swells. And if you don't take care of it, so what it says, it can become infected. But I mean, I literally had it for four hours. I mean, well, maybe a little longer than that, five, six hours, five or six hours. That is not long enough to get an infection, is it? I have no idea. I have no idea. So, I mean, where my marsupialization was is kind of sore. I know this is like totally TMI. Um, I will put like some, some kind of warning up there because... You don't want to watch it or you know if you don't want to watch or listen to this kind of talk you don't have to <laughs> but I really need somebody that has experienced these before 
that I can talk to because this is just crazy. I cannot suffer another one of these. I can't do this again. I cannot go through the removal of it. Um, supposedly the next step is the extraction of the gland, which I'm told is just something I don't want to go through. So please comment below if you have gone through one of these before because I'm miserable. I'm miserable. That's, there's just no other words. So you guys have a wonderful night and I will see you tomorrow.